Okay, gonna do a tutorial on sub fatty. Um, just the basic like controls on the actual synth itself. It's got a lot of hidden functions. Um, so I'm just gonna show the main ones really. Um, just for anyone who's maybe just bought this synth, or even if you've got an analog synth, uh, as they they all pretty much work the same. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off in this video just with the mixer section and the oscillators and then there'll be like a part two where I'll go into like the filter and the envelopes. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is if you look over here, you've got presets on this synth. You can do 16 presets and you've got four banks. So you press the bank uh, and then if you press each patch you've got four patches Let's see what we got in here and you've got all your different sounds so if you want to hear uh, how the synth is currently set up you actually need to press this button which is uh, the activate panel button when you press that uh, you're going to start hearing uh, how the synth is currently set up from the controls that, however these are set this is what you're hearing now so at the minute all we've got is a triangle wave one oscillator okay so I'm going to zoom in to the mixer so hopefully you can see this okay so the mixer this is where you set the level for each uh, oscillator um, which is basically on the synth is what produces all your sound so we've got oscillator one uh, a sub oscillator which adds in I think it's a square wave an octave below oscillator one so that can just be used to add a bit of extra bass uh, oscillator two control and a noise uh, oscillator Okay, so the first thing you want to do is turn everything down apart from oscillator one which you want to put uh, you can put it all the way up I think it goes to 12 if you put it on 10 that's kind of like that is uh, that's basically full but if you go to 12 it just actually gives you a bit of an extra boost um, difference there so put it you know put it on 10 um, okay so then if you come over to uh, the oscillator section you'll see we've got oscillator 1 and 2 so oscillator 1 is something we look at you've got an octave switch at the top okay so you set what you want so if I was making a bass, I'd go for like the first one. And then you've got the uh, wave control. Let's just zoom down that. So this lets you set the waveform. So you've got triangle, sawtooth, square wave, and pulse wave. Um, so let's just listen to each one. So this is triangle. And then the square, and then pulse wave. So um, the cool thing you can do here is you can actually do a blend between these, which you couldn't do uh, previously. I believe. The other thing you want to make sure is when you're starting to make a new patch, um, there are some basic settings with the uh, filter and the envelopes that I'll just show you now. Um, 
So the first of all, the filter, you want to have that fully open, so all the way to the right, so you're hearing all the frequencies. And just have everything else on zero, so resonance on zero, multi-drive all the way down, uh, the envelope generator amount just on zero, and keyboard amount all the way to the left. So, the, there, um, so this one's going to be in the middle, as you can go into the minus there. And the envelopes... Um, so set both the envelopes the same. You want to have everything all the way to the left, apart from the sustain, which you want to put all the way to the right. And what that's going to do is it's just going to give you the note, just literally note on, note off. So then you know that everything you're doing is not affected by the filter envelope now. And you're just purely hearing the oscillator. Unfiltered. Okay, so... So we go back to the mixer section. Um, let's zoom in again. So let's turn up the sub oscillator and you should hear the bass going. Yeah, you can hear that octave below. So if you want a really bassy sound, then you can definitely use that to beef up your sound. Okay, now if we turn up oscillator 2. Okay, so we've turned up oscillator 2, so now we're hearing oscillator 1, the sub oscillator, and the oscillator 2 all together. That sounds a bit detuned at the minute, so let's have a look at the oscillator 2 controls. So we've got a look over here. Okay, so sorry about the angle, it's a little bit difficult to get this right, but you've got the same control up the top, you've got the octave. I think uh, it's usually a good idea. You can just literally have these set up exactly the same. So we could just say both have sorted. The only difference with the oscillator too is you've got this frequency dial, and this just lets you tune the oscillator. So if you have it just uh, in the middle be the same as oscillator one but when you start to move it you get that detuned sound and that brings me to the hard sync oscillator two button so what this does if you have this on it will reset um the envelope uh, sorry the the actual waveform so that it was always going to start uh, at the same time as oscillator one and what this basically does it syncs them together so that you essentially don't get that modulation effect that you do when it's off so if you want a more accurate tuning sound Personally, I prefer. Okay, so uh, that brings us to the last control in the mix section, which is the noise. So if we turn down everything apart from the noise, turn it up. that's exactly what you're getting. So it's really good if you just want to add uh, a bit of grit to your sound. There you go. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, in the next one we'll go into how the filter controls work and the envelopes. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see the next one. And also take a look at uh, any other videos I've done. I've got a lot of videos on drum machines and synths. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, go check it out. I'll see you next time.